First time I ever received Oxycontin, the specific opiate, was when I had surgery on my feet. They told me this is a very painful surgery. We have to remove bones from your toes, clip tendons and ligaments, shove a screw in there to anchor it. We're giving you your prescription ahead of time. And so what do you do? You take the medicine. By the time my surgery was over and the recovery was supposed to be over, I still needed that Oxycontin. I had a friend, a friend, hey Sierra, you know heroin's the same thing, right? So we went out and bought heroin and that was the beginning of the end. I'm actually smoking heroin with my friends, looking around at people vomiting in buckets, passing it to the right, people nodding in and out of consciousness. And I was like, I don't want my life to be like this. I locked myself in my bedroom and detoxed for two weeks. It was so bad. Everything hurt, my organs hurt. At this point, I didn't care. I, it was either death or sobriety, that's it. But then it got to that point and I said, Mom, I am going to have to get something. I am not going to be able to handle this. My mom said, no, 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 Sierra. We are never going back down that road. She's like, why don't you just smoke some weed? The relief I felt was indescribable. I felt I could think clear. I felt like I wasn't as emotional about the things that were happening. I'm gonna have five years sober. Five years ago, every single person that knew me would tell you that I was the worst piece of crap. I didn't deserve to breathe. Five years later, I have more people than I can count that say that I'm a blessing in their life. Don't doubt that you are capable of doing great things just because you're living in addiction right now.